Okay, so I'm just continuing with uh, building up that Relay Lad Logic program. I'll just close all these uh, windows down first. Now, based on what I've sketched up on paper, uh, and I'll try to show that if I go to Logitech webcam, taking a few shots. This is really not a good good uh, shot. I apologise for that. Uh, basically, I've that's my water tank. Uh, high level, low level. These are meant to be uh, level switch symbols. There's a pipe here with a uh, water pump. There's the motor there and the water source. I've got down here a circuit breaker controlling that pump, and that's coming into the PLC controller. And um, I've highlighted the inputs and outputs here. We've got I double colon zero backslash zero, which is my low level float switch, and uh, I double colon zero slash one, which is the high level float switch. I, d I double colon zero slash two is a uh, hardware and manual override switch, which will just power off any the motor no matter what the logic is trying to do, switching the motor on and off. And this is the output uh, O double colon zero backslash zero, which is uh, controlling the circuit breaker. And I think if I go along here, yeah, that's just a bit better picture showing uh, my little sketch up of my uh, lab bolt trainer PLC controller, AB Logics 1100. And you can see I've got those uh, labeling of those inputs and outputs there. <coughs> Now a bit further along, oh, that's the close-up of the uh, water tank. Um, it's a bit easier to read that one. Now this is my uh, sketch-up of logics. It's it's actually um, based on what was written in the Lab Vault training manual, which I've described previously. If I just zoom up on there, so we just go down. That's actually meant to say rung zero. Uh, there's your first input water low activating an internal relay contact B3 semicolon zero backslash zero water high activating another uh, virtual relay contact and uh, here that's on rung one and then rung two we've got um, turn pump off I uh, input um, semicolon zero backslash two and uh, turn pump on now that's the manual override contact. Here's the virtual uh, pump turn off virtual relay contact here. Um, and so sorry, these these are actually symbolised coils, not contacts. And these are these are the contacts. So they're all in series. So that's like an AND expression here. Now I've actually got two outputs here. Um, really, to turn the motor on, that's just zero uh, O for output semicolon zero is that zero and there's a second one here which I believe is some kind of um, uh, physical instrumentation a light indicator of um, the fact that the motor has been locked out <clears throat> all right now we'll get back to the um, RS logic program so now that's an overview of my inputs and outputs now I've just got to build them up so that one's not actually meant to be there. I'll delete that. Um, so we'll add that second internal relay uh, coil. Let's get user. Click on that. Oh, sorry, click and drag. These red dots indicate places where you can drop that item. I want to drop it here. As a rule, uh, inputs are on the left hand side and outputs are on the right hand side. Now we'll uh, just label it up. That's going to be B3 semi, uh, top four colon zero backslash one. Uh, description water high internal relay R R E L A Y. Okay, it should label this one too properly. That's the um, water low. Right, so those are all labeled up. So just to, again going over to this uh, data file, 
I'm using uh, bit zero, so you can you can see B three semicolon zero, and it's actually got labeled there too, which is quite nice. And this one here, so you can see how I'm using the bits in that register. This is purely an internal. These bits do not interface with the input-output terminals at all, except through the coding in the relay lad logic program. Um, now we're going to drop another uh, set of contacts. Now we're going to use these ones. Um, that's going to be normally closed. And I don't want that there. I want that down here. Put it right there and label it. That will be I zero slash two description. That's a manual override uh, contact. Okay, this one here. Um, look, I don't want that one. I want um, one of the internal uh, contacts, which will also be a normally closed. Drag that down to there. Description uh, B three zero slash one. Okay, so it's just copied that description straight across, which is nice. And this one, I don't want that. I want that to be a normally open relay contact. Alright, description B. It helps really to do this all out on paper first before going ahead and making the um, program. And then we've got on this side the outputs. We're going to put um, here bit. Um, Output coil, click on that. Output energize, click on there. And description, O for output, 0 slash 0. Description, uh, water pump, energize. And we want to add a parallel branch. Okay, here we're going to uh, going to create a branch. So we just go. Uh, just check this. This might not be right. Okay, insert new branch, and um, now I want to drag that into here. Right there. Drop that in there. Now we're going to add another one here because it's going to be two contacts I'm putting on. So we just go back to bit, drag one of those coils, click onto there, and description, oh, arrow for outside, two, we're going to use number two, and we'll just call that uh, indicator of manual override. Override. Okay. Alright, so basically, oops, we'll switch the camera there. Now basically, we're ready to um, check test for bugs.